Hello everyone! Oi! <laughs> you know, that was a drama we had. I mean, that was one of the characters from a drama we had in church um, in the month of June. It was so hilarious. So I was just trying to act like him right there. How are you all doing? It's so good to have you join us for service once again. Put your hands together for yourselves for that. All right, and put your hands together for Jesus. Okay, it's, it's so good to always welcome you all to service in health, in happiness, and joy. Because, you know, when we gather together, we gather together in the name of Jesus. And we're supposed to always be what excited about, about that. All right, so we, um, we're just going to say a little prayer right now as we um, continue the service. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for today. It's a day that you have made for us to rejoice and be glad. We give you praise for all of the things you've done for us. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We pray that as we join the Junior Church Praise Team for a session of praise and worship, you will accept our praises. Thank you for hearing us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, it's time to give God some quality praise as we join the Junior Church Praise Team. And then when we're done with that, we will get into a very interesting topic today. So I'll see you then. Who's happy to be in the presence of the Lord? Come on, say hallelujah! Hallelujah! I that you're alive today to be able to see this beautiful day God has made. Somebody say hallelujah!
welcome back from that awesome time we had praising god it was fun wasn't it well i had fun and i know you had fun as well okay so we will go to the, into today's um topic the title of today's topic is indecent act i'll say that one more time indecent act now what is an indecent act simply put an indecent act is anything all right that is done that is inappropriate and for us as christians most of the time we can say anything that goes against what god wants all right and you know that one of the ways we find out what god wants is when we you know read the bible because the bible contains the things that God wants, what God expects us to do, how God expects us to, to live our lives here on earth. Now, I'm going to tell a story about a city. This city was, or should I say, this city existed long before I was born, long before you were also born, even long before your parents were born. This city existed a long time ago, right? The name of that city is known as Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, Sodom and Gomorrah was a city, a city that existed long ago. Now, there was one particular thing that, or, or should I say, there were some things that the people that lived in this city were doing that God was upset about. God was angry with what they were doing. It was, it was, it was, I mean, they did a lot of bad things indecent acts things that were the things that were against the laws of god what god wanted and god was angry with them and god took a decision that he was going to destroy that city god was going to destroy that city with fire how many of you have seen um, a house on fire before? Maybe in a movie or maybe, I don't know. I have seen it in a movie and I've also seen it before um, in real life. So God was going to destroy that city with a fire. Let me read a bit of that story to you, okay? Um, that story is from Genesis chapter 19. I'm going to say that one more time. Genesis chapter 19. So I'm just going to read from verse 12. Two angels had, um, let me give you a background if I read it. Two angels had, you know, visited Lot. Lot was, a, was related to Abraham and Lot was living in the city of Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah. And, um, you know, in the midst of all the, the bad things they were doing, but Lot wasn't joining them. He didn't join them to do all those things, right? Lot was obedient to God. So God sent two angels to warn Lot and his family that he was going to destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. So, so I'm going to read from verse 12 now. I'm reading the NLT version. It says, Meanwhile, the angels questioned Lot. Do you have any other relatives here in this city? They asked. Get them out of this place. Your sons-in-law sons daughters or anyone for we are about to destroy this city completely the outcry against this place is so great it has reached the lord and he has sent us to destroy it so lord rushed out to tell his daughter's fiancés quick get out of this city the lord is about to destroy it but the young men thought he was joking at the dawn that's at the dawn the next morning the angels became insistent hurry they said to lord take your wife and your two daughters who are here get out right now or you will be swept away in the destruction of this city when lord still hesitated the angel seized his hand and the hands of his wife and two daughters and rushed them to safety outside the city for the lord was merciful when they were safely out of the city one of the angels ordered run for your lives and don't look back 
or stop anywhere in the valley. Escape to the mountains or you will be swept away. Let me, let me just stop there. So God, I mean, think about it. A, a, a people were doing things and it had gotten to God's attention, right? And God was upset and he was going to destroy that city because of what they were doing. Now, let me mention um, one particular thing that they were doing. You probably have heard, I don't know, maybe maybe you read online or maybe you've met friends that have probably have a, um, a different opinion to what I'm about to say. Or maybe you live in other parts of the world where what I'm about to say is different from what you have heard. Okay, but like I said, as Christians, we do what the Bible says and what God approves of. Approves of. So, the people in Sodom and Gomorrah, um, okay, let me put it like this. When God created the world, when God created the earth, okay, in the beginning, he made Adam and he made Eve. Adam and Eve became husband and wife. So, Adam and Eve, I suppose, they were, they were married, coupled, created by God to give birth to children. That is God's original plan, right? But the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know what they were doing? A man and a man were getting married. A woman and a woman were getting married. Now, that is not what God approves of. God approves that a man and a woman should be married. Okay? So, that was what they were doing in Sodom and Gomorrah. And that God got angry. God was like, what are you doing? This is against my commandment. Right? So, God got upset about that. And he was going to destroy the entire city for that reason. A people got God's attention because of the bad things they were doing and you, you see we're supposed to get God attention God's attention by the good things we do and that good thing is obeying his commandments it would be bad on us or for us if we get God's attention by the bad things that we're doing so that's part of the things I'm not going to talk about again now so let me bring this home right now to us now what are some indecent things that we might do as children right that might be against what god commands number one a boy you are not meant to go to the girl's toilet you are not supposed to spy on someone when they are in the toilet or bathroom you are not um before you enter a especially maybe your mom or your sister's room you're supposed to knock Okay, you are not supposed to touch a lady inappropriately. Okay, now for girls, you are not supposed to go to a boy's toilet before you enter. Uh, maybe your your brother or your dad's room. You are supposed to not get the approval before you come in. You are not supposed to touch a boy inappropriately. All right, and of course for boys and girls now you're not supposed to abuse you're not supposed to use offensive words because you're a child of god and that's part of the things that god says in the bible that you are not supposed to do like i said god has provided the bible for us to read and to show us how we're supposed to live our lives to please him because we don't want god to be angry with us remember i said i mentioned to you what the people in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah were doing, all right? That God got attention and he was angry with them. And for that reason, God destroyed the entire city. Because God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. God can see everything we are doing, all right? And if we are doing things that displeases him, he can get angry and his wrath can come on us. And we don't want God's wrath to come on us i mean think about it god destroying the city of sodom and gomorrah with fire we don't want to do that to us do, do we no all right so 
So I believe we've learned something very, very important today, okay? About indecent acts, things that are inappropriate, all right? And I know God will help us as we study the Bible, as we pray and ask Him for help, we will continue to do the things that please Him alone, all right? So I'm going to um, do something very quickly, right? I'm going to give an opportunity to anyone who's watching me now who hasn't asked Jesus to come into their heart to be their Lord and Savior. I'm just going to give you an opportunity to say a prayer with me and for you to ask Jesus to come into your heart and to be your Lord and Savior. So if you're watching me and you want to say that prayer, I want you to close your eyes and say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for sending Jesus to die for my sins on the cross. I believe that his blood has washed away all of my sins. I declare that I am now a child of God. Thank you for hearing me, for in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. That is a beautiful prayer that you have just said, and you know what? You are now a part of God's family. God is now your father, and you are his child. And for all of us at Daystar Junior Church, we will continue to pray for you and with you for this prayer that you have just said. So we go to today's memory verse. Today's memory verse is taken from 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19. I'll say that one more time. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? you are not your own. I'll read that one more time. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. This has been an exciting service, hasn't it? I'm so excited to, to end the service, but I know that we will get to see you again next Sunday, right? So continue to stay safe, continue to stay healthy, keep blossoming, bye-bye, and God bless you.